One of the many things I take away, I shouldn't just say the one thing, Gary, is the immense respect the people whose behinds Ortiz kicked for as long as he did saying their farewells to him on Twitter, uh, all the people that have reached out to him after he dominated in many ways. I, I, why do you think that is? Well, you know, Big Poppy is one of those guys where – I think around the era that he re became popular, you don't fraternize with your, your, you know, your opponents and things like that before games. You know, I'm, I'm from the old school where you don't embrace people around the cage. You don't even really look at them or talk to them. And he was one of the first guys that I can recall that embraced everybody, not just, you know, Latino players or black players or whatever. It was everybody. I mean, he was just, warm and, and he just put that bear hug on you and it's like you know even if 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 he didn't come up to you and embrace you guys was running up to him to embrace him and he started that whole embracing each other before batting practice and then going out and competing it and, and before you know it I, I don't know if that was a setup or not he was you know <laughs> buttering you up just to go out and beat the brains out of something yeah. But it seemed to work for Big Poppy. So what would have happened if you were in the cage, you know, let's just choose anything, with the Marlins, Dodgers, Yanks. I guess you were, you were part of the teams that uh, that Poppy was uh, was began to pound on. Um, Brewers, Padres. I mean, what would right. happen if somebody like him had come up to you in the cage back then for, well, with you, Gary? Well, you know, back then when we had Big Don Baylor and Dave Parker, that wouldn't have been good. You know, those guys didn't, didn't mess around uh, – you know, when you they saw you talking to another teammate, I mean, a, 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 a opponent, another team, they would they would let you know. I had teammates to say something and say, "Hey, what are you doing fraternizing with this guy?" And 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 that's how we learn as young players not to fraternize with other players. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.